never portrayed negatively in commercials, man. Ain't no pendulum swinging. Ain't no pendulum swinging. Yes, they were. No, the fuck we weren't. Black people was never portrayed like morons in commercials, man. No, we weren't. That's 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 Negroes making up shit. Cause listen, here here's the thing: we got we can watch the commercials. People across America, from New York to LA. I'm from coming to see you. Leaving their cars at home. This is 1981, man. And we can go back to the 70s. I was around, man. Black people weren't portrayed bad in, on TV. Even black exploitation movies in the 70s, those were really good movies, man. Those 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 characters had had morals and character and Oh, in the twenties and the forties, yeah, maybe that shit, yeah. Back then, yeah, you could be, yeah, but in I'm talking about in the eighties, I'm talking about in the TV era, in the era of TV, we would never portray bad on TV. It's all bullshit. That's all lies that Negroes tell. People across America, and you only get this here. Hit the like button. Support the channel, man. Hit hit up the channel, man. Support the channel, man. Um, show some love to the channel, man. Those of you who love the channel, man. Those of you who support the channel. America is discovering the comfort and convenience of Greyhound. We're going more places more often than anybody else for a price that's tough to beat. Just sit back, relax, and let Greyhound take care of the rest. So next trip, leave your car at home and your troubles behind. No need to worry about driving with the someone you can trust. Go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. Go Greyhound. Besides saving your bundle over regular air coach, Greyhound's got a new act you're really gonna like. Let me show you. A $50 Spring Fling travel sale. Only 50 bucks buys a one-way trip anywhere in America. Or a three-day round trip. Both must be out of state, and you can take a child under 12 free. Isn't that nice? Say hello to the goodbye. Go Greyhound. Go Greyhound. Woo! Spring ahead. You know, it's not something we talk about. Then don't talk about it. But when Raymond gets... Gets what? You know, constipated. What? I give him Phillips Milk of Magnesia. Put that away. Phillips works overnight and immediately starts soothing the stomach acid Ray sometimes gets when he's feeling... Oh, Maureen. Well, it's true, honey. Only Phillips immediately starts soothing your upset stomach and then release... Sun turds are liars. Press one. Salute the cool cat, man. Cool Cat says salute everyone. Sun turds are liars. Press one. They always lie about everything. We was, we was, we was, we was, they had us looking bad in no commercials, man. No, the fuck they didn't. I was alive then. I remember. Black people never were treated bad in on commercials while in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s relieves constipation overnight it can happen to anybody but you don't even know these people 
Mom sure know how to make life easier. Mine was always there for me. Like another mom I know. This mom, Phillips Milk of Magnesia, M-O-M. The laxative that helps your body work naturally for easy overnight relief. Would mom be harsh? No. And mom's even easier to take with this dosage cup. See? Mom knows just what you need. So when you run into trouble, remember, nobody treats you better than mom. I just don't understand, that's all. How you could be so bad in math. My goodness. It should be easy for you. I know it, but I'm better at art and gym. I know, but math is one of your major subjects. You've got to have math, you understand? Last checkup I had only had one cavity. I know, I know you're a good kid. That was the crest, you know. The people who make yeah. crest think growing up is a great time of life. And cavities really shouldn't be a part of it. We have an amazing ingredient, fluoride, that's helped prevent millions of cavities from happening. Crest is accepted by the American Dental Association. Simply have checkups, brush with Crest after meals, and keep an eye on those treats. And we'll keep delivering what we promise. Fewer and fewer cavities. Fighting cavities is the whole idea behind Crest. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Hey, Sam. How come you're not playing? Because I'm a girl, Daddy. Sun turds are some lying motherfuckers saying that they were treated bad in commercials back in the day. Press one. All sun turds do is lie about fake mystery victimhood from back in the day. Sun turds were treated fine. Their image was fine on TV. They had a great image on TV. They're a bunch of fucking liars. You only going to hear it here. Lester here wears the same outfit every show, but I don't, so I start with Hager slacks. And for today's matinee, I'll add this Hager top. For the supper show, and at midnight, this great suit look, all outfits of Encron polyester double knit. Price so I can afford to look like a headliner. So why don't you buy me Hager slacks? Because Hager doesn't make them for dummies. Hager, America's best known name in slacks. The next move. If winners rent from Hertz. Okay, I was wrong. They did treat you bad in old. <laughs> They did portray you as killers in old commercials. My bad. My bad. They did. Sometimes they portrayed you as killers, man. My bad, y'all. You're right. Y'all got me. They did portray y'all as killers sometimes in commercials. So. I guess I was wrong. I was wrong, man. Press one, man. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong, man. They betrayed y'all as killers in commercials, man. If winners rent from Hertz, where do losers rent? When you eat Big taste and biscuits. You get big flaky biscuits. Every time. Hungry Jack biscuits are those big taste and biscuits. And it's big taste, you will always find. Hungry Jack biscuits are what big taste is all about. Hungry Jack biscuits are those big tasting biscuits. Hungry Jack biscuits are those big tasting biscuits. Sydney? Upstairs, playing. Ah, it's a good time to frost my cake. 
Someone thinks your cake is pretty good without frosting. Sydney, you're in trouble. Uh oh. Duncan Hines. Our cake's so moist, even unfrosted, the taste comes alive. He says he couldn't help himself. It's so delicious. He's right. Harry. Duncan Hines light deluxe two and pudding recipe. So moist and delicious. Oh man, back in the day, man, they used to have us looking crazy, you commercials, man. They had our image was so messed up back in the day. The white man used to have our image all jacked up on the TV screen. He would tell lies to your vision. That's why they call it television. Telling lies to your vision. You get it? Telling lies to your vision. Duncan Hines light deluxe too and pudding recipe. So moist and delicious, they might not wait till they're frosted. Good. Again. Are you? Once it was against the law in some states to Are teach a black child to read or write. <laughs> but the law didn't stop them from learning. And the law didn't change till 1863. For the past 30 years, the United Negro College Fund has helped half a million black students change the course of their lives at UNCF colleges. Thousands have become doctors, engineers, and teachers, perhaps changing the course of your life. But today, there just isn't enough money. And tomorrow... We're sorry, but this course has been canceled. Please, don't let this happen. Support the United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. See, a mind is a terrible thing to waste, man. Give money to the United Negro College Fund. Devil dogs are delicious, and I'm crazy about them. Well, this this is a true commercial. <laughs> this is an accurate commercial. Press one. <laughs> this is a pretty accurate commercial. <laughs> Salute to Eric S. Ocknation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Devil dogs are delicious and I'm crazy about them because I love that chocolatey cake and the creamy filling. <laughs> I love devil dogs more than Marsha. Drake's devil dogs are one of the delicious little cakes from Borden. But don't sing with your mouth full. A college man. I got me a college man. Ma, this letter just means I got accepted. It doesn't mean we can't afford it. Nonsense. It means you're smart, you work for it, and you deserve it. Honey, this is your chance. And this is what Negroes are complaining about their image. This is what Negroes are running around lying about how they used to get dogged out in commercials. This is nothing compared to the way white folk get dogged out in commercials today. Press one. A college man. Got me a college man. Ma, this letter just means I got accepted. It doesn't mean we can afford it. Nonsense. It means you're smart, you work for it, and you deserve it. Honey, it's your chance. And we're going to get you on that bus somehow. What's wishing so high, Ma? There's a way. There's got to be a way. By keeping tuitions down at its 43 predominantly black colleges, the United Negro College Fund has given a chance to thousands of deserving students. Baby, you make me so proud. But if you think the battle's won, think again. The fact is, for each one we reach, there's one we can't. Not without the funds. And if we can't reach them, chances are nobody can. So support the United Negro College Fund. <laughs> 
because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. This is Channel 11, WPIX, New York. Television's longest running syndicated music program and the May I help you, sir? If I wanted a whop and I asked you to hold the pickles and hold the lettuce, I know I'd get that fast. But would I get to hear you sing? No, sir. No? You'd get to hear us sing. Girls? Ooh, hold the pickle, hold the I mean, was that bad? Like, is, is this what they were complaining about? Their image being looking bad? White people used to make us look bad in old back in the day, man. White people had us looking crazy, man. Listen, man. A lot, sons, we lie, okay? We're liars, man. <laughs> we lie all the time, man. So it's like I just and I and it's not that I want to expose black people. It's just the fact that everything's there. Okay? everything's there so there's no reason to like deal with the lies that black people tell man because everything's there we have all the we have all the receipts we don't have to um Bill, man, you were around in those days, weren't you? Yeah. Do you remember black people looking like buffoons and goddamn The closest thing to that would be the the kid on Sanford and Sons? Arnold? I'm talking about in commercial. He he was a no, character not in commercials, in no. He's a character in a sitcom. He was supposed to be funny. Right. Yeah, no, not uh You said you didn't you don't remember seeing that? Nope. Wasn't a thing. Yeah, black people lie. They so were portrayed uh I'm Christ. Uh, the first time I saw black people mistreated on television was fucking roots. And that shit was on for a week. Do you know that Drake Fruit Pies come with two in every package? And that's a good thing. Me and my group, the Drydells, did up this commercial about it. And Drake's liked it so much that they're going to let us do it. Well, here goes. Drake Fruit Pies make me want to cry. Comes in apple and cherry. 
makes me feel so It seemed like any little black group that could sing and wanted a chance, they got an opportunity to sing on commercials, man. Like this little rinky dink group got a chance to have their own commercial, man. Thanks to white people, man. Yeah, I'm sure there weren't very many uh, black commercials, but they're probably appropriate to the population size. Yeah, now black people are the are in every commercial. Yeah, back then black people weren't in every single commercial, but there were plenty of commercials with black people, and they were portrayed normal people. They weren't buffoonish. I think now the way black people act now with swag and all that shit is a buffoonery. With the hip hop swag and being authentically black, all that shit is a minstrel and buffoonery. These black people seem normal as hell. Press one. Don't these black people seem normal? Picnic time. Pickle. Hot dog. Hot dog. Potato chips. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Once you've tried Pringles newfangled potato chips, dear, other potato chips just don't stack up. Huh? They're made in a way. Airtight, all fresh and unbroken. And you get as many chips as in this big bag. You go. Mm-hmm. From now on, you go to the store. Pringles newfangled Black potato chips. Black never played chips. tennis. Other they never heard that pop before. <laughs> yeah. And look at... I just don't... I just, I just want to see how black people say we were treated so bad, poorly in TV commercials back in the day. All these people seem very wholesome and down to earth and normal. Yeah, like normal people. Yeah. It's just like they seem actually, they actually portrayed better than they are now. Stack up. Want a cold capsule, Eddie? Baby, that capsule's just for head colds. I'm also coughing. My throat is scratchy. I feel achy. I need some rest. I want NyQuil. NyQuil. Vicks NyQuil, nighttime cold medicine, relieves more major cold symptoms than the leading capsule. Relieves them for hours, so it lets you get the rest you need. I can't for the life of me remember his name. Sherman Hemsley. You Sherman said Hemsley, yeah. He's the only guy getting work. You see the black woman taking care of her man. He says, you treat me like a king. These fucking sunters always lie. Everything's a lie with them. Press one. You treat me like a king, Laurie. You got a cold tonight? Put NyQuil to work. Mm. Aretha, we'll get the gas. Good guys. I got it. Come on, what's the queen of soul know about gasoline? Baby, nothing. My car knows. Why do more drivers rate Amico premium lead breathe the highest quality gasoline? Your car knows. Gas commercials. Well, since you don't have any questions, let's go ahead and sign you up for Fios. Actually, doesn't Fios cost more than Comcast? <laughs> yeah. And isn't the Fios HD on demand library full of silly two minute videos like how to fold a towel? I don't know how to fold towels. So. And doesn't Comcast. See, now we in the modern commercials and white people looking stupid. And look how they treat white people in modern commercials. Cast have more HD on demand movies and TV shows than Fios. Oh, look at you with your fun facts. That's great. I'm going to write down your credit card number here, which I memorized while looking. <laughs> she just dissed him and played him. I wonder, I wonder who produces these commercials. I bet it's a bunch of uh, sun men. How times have changed. Uh, juice crew. It's the juice crew. Don't you don't yeah. you know that, though? Every commercial nowadays is some level-headed, intelligent, patient, Black person having to deal with some fucking moronic, idiotic, socially awkward white person. That's constant. 
what needs to be really discussed is why is it that the Juice crew is so obsessed with hating gliders? Well, it's because they're their biggest intellectual rival and rival of historical power. Salute to Nick Tal Javon. He says, yo, I, well, gliders ever realize that they can't take Sun serious when they constantly complain and finally understand it's us coping with failure? Yeah, man. Facts. We were treated fine back in the day. Fine. Don't fall for Fios. Comcast, better HD. And Let's have any questions? Yeah. Let's go ahead and sign. Let's just see is it a black woman versus a white man. A black woman who, it is what it is, versus a white man who's created almost everything we, the white man's created everything we have from this Created fucking, that house that she's freaking living in. <laughs> the, the computer and look at her house. Look how cool the electricity house. plumbing through the walls. <laughs> She's got a great house. If black people would try to make they had us like like they would have her in the projects coming out with a bonnet on her head, twerking and shit. No, she's <laughs> represented. She's represented fine. Her representation is fucking great in this fucking commercial. He's the one that's the fucking moron. Press one. Well, since you don't have any questions, let's go ahead and sign you up for Fios. Actually, doesn't Fios cost more than Comcast? <laughs> yeah. And isn't the Fios HD on demand library full of silly two minute videos like how to fold a towel? I don't know how to fold towels. So. And doesn't Comcast have more HD on demand movies and TV shows than Fios? Look at you with your fun facts. It's great. I'm going to write down your credit card number here, which I memorized while looking. Dolores? Don't fall for Fios. Comcast, better HD and the fastest internet around. Speaking for Burger King. Man, she shitted on the homie, man. She shitted on the homeboy. God, dog. It, it's just funny, man. Let me let me let me see. Let me see if we can listen, man. White folk, y'all, y'all getting dogged out in these fucking commercials now. I, I couldn't believe it. I was watching TV today. I was like, every commercial is a fucking white person, person of getting, color. Fucking dog. Person of color. You mean black person, right? I wonder who makes the commercials. I bet it's a bunch of black people, right? That's the second time he said that. This guy's a troll, man. Get him out of there, man. And he sounds uh, <laughs> like an awfully light in the loafers, too. Why you say that? Why you saying that, man? And he's got another account. New guys up here twice, man. New guy. That's new guy. No, new guy's right there. That guy said that shit twice, man. He he he, he giving me fucking um, troll vibes, man. Horn bomber vibes. Yeah, you you you, you peep that too. Yeah, yeah. He's fucking weirdo, man. Um. Yeah, like we just talked about that shit. But hmm. No, I'm saying we just finished talking about that shit. What? Dealing with a porn bomber, I think, is oh. what he's talking about. Every commercial nowadays. Let's go live oh. our lives to the shortest. If, we show, if they got people Good day. in. Brought to you by MSC Cruises. We begin in the Pendleton Whiskey Bucking Shoot. Now this is a sport. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zycam's love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam zinc that cold. Keep your vehicle protected this winter with WeatherTech. Laser measured floor liners protect the carpet. Seat protectors to keep seats safe from spills and messes. And cup phone keeps your phone secure while allowing easy access while charging. WeatherTech's got your vehicle covered all season long. Order your American made products at WeatherTech.com. So, you know, the snowman stole the black man's. The phone. white snowman <laughs> stole the black man's phone. See, black man did have the phone first, and the white man just stole the technology. This morning at 11 on Fox 5. 
I came here to find love, but instead I found a best friend, Senor Snuffles. You stole my sock, now you've stolen my heart. Will you accept this milk bone as a symbol of my love? Oh, dog. Family Feud is now on fire. Every fucking commercial, man, if it's like, there ain't that many black people in the fucking world to be in every goddamn commercial, man. Well, even the ones that aren't overtly anti-white, they're still weird. Yeah, it's just fucking crazy. Good day. Brought to you by MSC Cruises. We begin in the Pendleton Whiskey Bucking Suit. They had some... Uh, look, they had... Where's that thing with um? It was that bull rider or son man? Yeah, there's some <laughs> there's some uh, guys that ride now. It's become a lot more popular. I only uh, knew of a couple back in the day, but so you're seeing more sun men are riding bulls. Yeah, and well, a lot of dark Brazilians too. I think you know we get that. we're the first ones to ride bulls. Yeah, would you forget that? The first rule, second rule of Octum. Let's talk about. TV Don't ever course. ask a black guy to leave. I've been wanting to do and this for y'all. Sons invented everything. Let's talk about TV commercials. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while. Somehow, companies around the world have found a way through, let's say, fragile, elite corporation woke racial overcorrection to make the most annoying thing on television even more annoying. Now they're not just rudely stopping your favorite show or news broadcast to sell you drugs with a thousand side effects you don't need at all and or attempt to charm you into buying their insurance policies through funny, witty commercials. Well, funny the first half a dozen times you see them anyway. On top of all that, now they're blatantly imposing their leftist racial insecurities. So come to find out, commercials take up 27% of television viewers' time on average and are the main source of income for television and radio stations. These days, they've gotten smart. In most cases, advertisements on all channels appear simultaneously. So don't try the change the channel trick. For the most part, there will be commercials over there, too. Nowadays, they have also taken over to them. And they become almost as much a part of our lives as food or toilet paper and even Let me sleep. Show you this one. I, I think we did this one, but just to show you again how bad some of you guys probably didn't see it. Just to show you how bad they do white people in commercials, man. This is Jeremy. Jeremy and his team just completed a project that had executives awkwardly offering up fist bumps uh, and uh, high fives. Yeah. But that's one that's that's one white man that was socially awkward and a dork. Let's see how this other white man fares in the commercial. They were well, on too. Crime. There's the guy that walked by and the dude. Today, the today the same shirt. executives are pushing for the next big thing. Something smarter, faster, better. Something the industry has never seen before. Don is stressing out big time, but not Jeremy. Jeremy isn't worried because his team has plural sight. He knows what technology skills his team needs to meet the company's goals, and Pluralsight makes gaining those skills as easy as grabbing a snack from the candy wall. The team starts with adaptive skills tests. It takes just five minutes to get their results. Based on their scores, they get a recommended starting point in a path, saving them time because now they know exactly what they need to learn. At lunch, Jenny freshens up with a few courses. She loves knowing she's learning from industry experts with real-world experience. Jeremy has strong foundational knowledge, but takes some advanced courses to expand his skill set. Don flies his drone around the office for most of the afternoon, but he dives deep on his commute and continues learning at home. When Jenny comes across a particularly challenging concept, she requests a mentor right from Pluralsight. Within minutes, she's not only unstuck, but she's found a solution that can make those executives' dreams a reality. Jeremy and his team return to the office with a newfound confidence, feeling smarter than yesterday. With Pluralsight, there's nothing this team can't achieve. Go team. Some man winning. Glenn says he's been on here before. 
he yeah, had. I, re- I, don't, I recognize yeah, him. Yeah, I, I recognize him. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. All right, all right, man. He, he just seemed like a, it was yeah. weird. He kept saying the same thing over he, again, man. He's one of Fish's disciples. Fisherman's disciples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you up, man. If you. If you you a disciple, you know Seven Up goes great with punch. But try mixing it with fresh cut fruit and sangria. It's the perfect drink for when you go raving in the desert, like that time you told your wife you were at the regional sales conference. Wait, what? what? Remember last March with Steve? <laughs> or use it to make a white wine spritzer, perfect for hanging out with two chicks. He's sitting on the man's lap, and his wife is sitting with her legs on a black man's lap. This is the same married couple from the previous scene. Talk about getting cupped. Yeah, he's cupped in every sometimes. <laughs> or use it to make a white wine spritzer. Perfect for hanging out with Tuche. I love your rap music. I have a helicopter. Ooh. We should be going. You don't like boats? I like boats. And I love all these 7-Up mixed drinks. 7-Up. Mix it up a little. Damn, that was tough. That was a good one. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. Remember? Wasn't that in, like, a, the Super Bowl? Super Bowl or something. Super Bowl right? commercial? That's some curly-ass hair, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's a stein or a bird or fish. What, what flavor is he? Go ahead. Oh, my God. That's so gay. Dude. So not cool. Mm, nacho cheese. Uh, nacho dick. Yo, y'all getting done bad. Because most people ain't going to say that's a Jew. They're going to say that's a white guy. People don't think like that in real life. People just see yeah, until, until you acknowledge the Jew problem, you're not going to fix any of this. That's true. That was, they that run was your bad, though. Your banks. Yeah, but that was bad. That was really bad. That was so bad. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. Damn, Doritos is just... Yo, why does Doritos hate white people so much, man? <laughs> God! The end no. thing to do. It's, it's uh, not Doritos. Yeah, but... Doritos they're like, chips. It's the people that work there. This is this is bad, my. So the the reason a lot of this happens is because BlackRock has bought majority stake in most of these mainstream companies, and BlackRock is run by a bunch of Juice Crew, and so they force they force all this ESG economic social governance feel good stuff onto these companies' uh, mission statements, and that's how you end up with these ads. It's because of Jews. Suing every rural farmer out of existence because of Monsanto's. Salute to Mr. Clockwork, man. He says, hit the like for Ock Nation. Shout out to the panel. Fish, Hot Black, Wicked, and AP. Y'all doing great work. Thank you. You're all appreciated. America has no peer. Salute to you, Mr. Clockwork. Charles says commercials today are so bad that they have sons doing things that sons never do, <laughs> like hiking, skiing, and swimming. Parenting, raising their children. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're. Mm, oh my god! <laughs> Yo, this is this is un. Ethical man, <laughs> this is not ethical man. Whoever's making these commercials needs to be like, <laughs> yeah, you do that in the wrong country, you don't know what that hand means. <laughs> yeah, yo, Congress need to subpoena these people, man. Bring them up, man. You gotta go. You, gotta <laughs> you think them. Congress would do something about anything like this? They need to. This is that's a fucking joke. They'd be the first one on their knees. Are you kidding? Congress stays no. on their knees for Jews. No, 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 no. But but here's the thing, man. Congress this is Jews, bro. Yo, this is bad, man. Yeah, this ain't even Jews. funny. It's not even like butter the joke. This is. It's anti-white, Ock. 
no, it, it, it's, 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 it's defaming. It's, it's, yo, this is the second straight commercial with some white dude was sucking on some black dude's finger. What the fuck? Be glad it's just his Here finger at this those? point. No, the Sorry, finger is symbolic, man. It's, it's oh, symbolic. I know. I know it's symbology. Be glad it's not his big black no, dick no. at this point. No, our subconscious sees that as as what it what it's meant to be. Yeah. This is this is this is this is this is, this is unconstitutional, man. Already gone. Why is no, it that's not. the only no, stereotype that's, that's okay? No, I'm pretty sure they're mm, cheese. Dude, that was hard to watch, days. man. Now you got this dorky white guy in his boxers. He's just got stripped of his clothes. Like, it's just, this is disgusting, man. And this guy is sniffing the crack of his pants. So what can I get you guys today? Uh, actually, do you mind telling me the specials again? Dude, we've been over this already. Three bean chili with garlic bread, a Cajun chicken salad with a raspberry vinaigrette, or a pulled pork sandwich with fries or mixed greens. Wow, that's hot. What's up? <laughs> Things that never, ever happened ever anywhere on the planet. <laughs> the white girl's all hot for the black guy and shit. Let's see what the white guy, let's see how if he can recover, man. About the chili or the chicken? There's nothing hotter than a guy who listens. Find yours on Live Links. Call or visit Live <laughs> Oh, yeah, we went in. <laughs> Links.com for your local number. Intelligence 18 plus. <sighs> well, the car is great. Just show me the Carfax. Carfax, let me do you one better. This old guy can sniff out any problems. <laughs> He's not going to help. You want to see the accidents and service records reported to Carfax and a price based on the car's history. Yeah, just show me the Carfax. But nothing gets past this old bloodhound. Before you buy a used car, just say, show me the Carfax. Yep. Every day at Red Robin's Tavern Double and all you can eat fries are just $6.99. Yeah, and you can have it straight up or with one of three styles. Perfect for a guy like us. Unlike when you tried boxing. Put your hands up. Let's do this. <laughs> Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo. Put your hands up. Let's do this. Man, next time y'all need to bob and weave. The Fire Grill Tavern Double with Bottomless Steak Fries. Yum. Every day, Red Robin's Tavern Double with all the fries you can eat is just $6.99. You can have it straight up or with one of three styles. Which is perfect for a guy like us. Unlike when you went to See, this prom doesn't bother me, though. This is, I find humor in it. The stuff that bothers me is you show me that videotape of Reginald Denny getting hit in the head with that brick. That, that one pisses me off. You can have it straight up or with one of three styles. Which but it's subliminal. Like it's just us. what they're trying to say. Unlike when you yeah, this Robin absolutely should cabbage. bother you. <gasps> she smelled fine. The fire grill tavern. Damn, so he, he skunked this guy's groove and got the other one slapped. <laughs> Damn. A guy like us. Unlike when you went to prom with Courtney Cavendish. Mm. <gasps> ah! She smelled fine. The Fire Grill Tavern Double with Bottomless Steak Fry. Hey, Mike, where do you have to? Uh, just diagramming this accident with my State Farm Pocket Agent app. Mm. You can also get a quote and pay your premium with this thing. I thought State Farm didn't have all those apps. Where'd you hear that? The internet. And you believed it? Yeah, I can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. Where'd you hear that? The, the internet. internet. Look, here comes my date. I met him on the internet. He's a French model. Uh, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> I remember the commercial. That was one of my favorite commercials. That shit was funny. Look how the white man is represented in these commercials, man. 
Salute to Nick Tad Javon. He says, if sons are willing to lie about being the original Jews, ancient pharaohs, Native Americans, first samurai, what ain't they ready to lie about? Great point. Just fucking lying all the time. Penis size. They're going to say that sons are going to come back in 20 years and say that they were the ones that were portrayed fucked up in commercials and in media during the 2020s and shit. I promise you. And white people are going to have to say, uh, can't say anything because that'll be racist. Disagreeing with a black person is racist, so they're just going to eat that shit. State Farm, more mobile than ever. Hey, Chief, did you take my stuff? No, this one's got avocado on it. Oh, my avocado on it. Well, how about that? Hi, <laughs> Doctor. Oh, you finally got them done. Thanks. Well, get your own. Old <laughs> Spice body wash can't block odor for 16 hours. What? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, it's like so clear for 16 hours. What? This one does, dummy. It's super powerful odor blocker body wash. Oh, this is just the wow. beginning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Old Spice body spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power. Now, how is it? <laughs> Yeah, there's some rumors about oh, Terry Crews out there, too. Potato chips! Crushing some live sports last night. Watch some NBA, NASCAR, rugby. Sounds like a lot of sports for a little fella. Excuse me? You heard me. Sounds like somebody's a little insecure about their fanhood. Guys, you challenge my fanhood, you meet this. That's barbed wire. Goes all the way around, friend. Boop, 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 boop. Watch more live sports online than ever before at ESPN 360. Black guy opened his towel up, showed him like, yeah, nigga, who's the real man? Watch the black guy open his towel up like, yeah. Fella, excuse me? You heard me. Sounds like somebody's a little insecure about their- uh, He like, yeah. Uh, I ain't in skill about nothing, motherfucker. I got this, and what you got? A fucking barbed wire. Fanhood. Guys, you challenge my fanhood, you meet this. That's barbed wire. Goes all the way around, friend. Boop, 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 boop. Watch more live sports online than ever before at ESPN360.com and always defend your fanhood. I don't like to golf. I love to golf. That's why I eat Velveeta at breakfast. It's made with delicious ingredients and carefully baked to release steady energy that lasts. We're golfing now, buddy. All morning long. I got it. For the win. Uno mas. Getting closer. Velveeta breakfast biscuits. Steady energy to do what I do all morning long. I called the car myself. I'll give you a lift, sir. Who are you again? Daniel, sir. Accounts. Who's this? This is Daniels. Key player over in accounts. Daniels, director of accounts. It makes a powerful first impression. Good luck in there. Come on, Daniels. You're VP of accounts, aren't you? The all-new Nissan Sentra. It's our most innovative Sentra ever. Nissan. Innovation that excites. So it's that easy for the white guy yes, to get ahead. You're right. Treads worn. Hey, we have tires that fit your needs, and we can install them today. Sounds here. good. Three tires get you a free mini pony. Come on over. Mini pony, mini pony, mini pony, mini pony, mini pony. Mini pony. Do you have any specials? The best prices on any brand of tires every day, guaranteed. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. Tires plus off. You hurt my feelings, tires. I did? When Visa Signature asked everybody what upgraded experiences really mattered, you suggested luxury car service instead of strength training with Patrick Willis. Come on, Todd, chicken wings. Well, I travel a lot, and, and um... <laughs> 
At Visa Signature, every upgraded experience comes from listening to our card holders. Visa Signature. All season treating you well, Julio. Them some nice kicks. You looking good too, Aries. Yeah, you know, feel like I keep me fresh in this Under Armour gear. Me too. You looking good. I'm looking good. Even not famous Andy looking good. Who? Not famous Andy. Say some not famous stuff. This morning, my dad and I, we got up about halfway done cleaning out our garage. <laughs> it is classic, not famous Andy, yo. Damn. Damn. Ew, no. 